Okay, Battletech enthusiasts, today's vlog is a mix of mailbag and tech narrative. The question, why aren't more mechs or any mechs a two-seater mech where, where you have a pilot and a co-pilot or a mech warrior and a navigator or an electronics warfare mech warrior? Wouldn't that duality be much more effective like we see in certain other vehicles or units in the Battletech universe? I mean, there's a lot to control in a mech. Wouldn't it be better served with two? Now, in thinking about this question, thinking about this narrative, there is some artwork out there, and there are a few pieces that support this, kind of that classic artwork of a Battlemaster that's a two-seater. I do understand that there are certain custom command mechs where literally like the mech warrior is in charge, but the commander has that, that battlefield preview, that battlefield overview of it. I've seen that, I believe, with some Cyclops artwork. And in exploring mech warrior training, much like the Chameleon is a trainer mech, I know there are some mechs that have been developed to serve as kind of an instructor, student, and a trainer type mech. But outside of that, my understanding, and I'm going to turn it over to you guys in the comments, it's, it's not really a common thing. And the reason for that and we're going to jump into a little bit of Pacific Rim here from that perspective and how actually the tech for battle tech, even though a lot of it is lost tech, is far superior to Pacific Rim. But this idea, the mech is plugged in through a neuro helmet. And, you know, the clans do it through the tattoos. They've evolved it. But mech warrior neuro helmets, that's your direct interface, kind of that 1980s virtual reality. And we're all going to be doing that stuff. I'm still waiting for my my true VR holodeck experience. But with that perspective and jacking into a mech, you are controlling physically the mech, getting that feedback, um, being very aware of, of the battlefield conditions. To potentially divide that between two, that means one of the mech warriors doesn't have the full scope, the full capacity, that full picture. But on the other hand, I, I could look and say, do they really need that? because you could verbally communicate or have other communications. Would there be an instance where uh, I could see a second, I want to say co-pilot or co-mech warrior? Of course, there's less glory there and less social status. I mean, if I was a mech warrior, given the narrative of the great houses, would I want a number two competing from that perspective? Would I even want another person in my mech? I want to be tied to my mech because if anything happens, I'm out. I'm cast out socially. I'm in the ranks of the dispossessed. But with that perspective and looking, if I was the mech warrior, the pilot, the gunner making the decisions, moving the mech, an elect, a dedicated electronics warfare, scout, spotter, defensive co-mech warrior, co-pilot, that I think that would be extremely useful to have someone dedicated just to that, or or maybe at least another set of eyes on the battlefield. So I could see some instances where it, it would work, and it would be very, very interesting to play it from that perspective. But my understanding is given the tech, the neuro helmet jacking in, the full control can only go to one person. Now let's just jump for a second to Pacific Rim. Um, this is another franchise that I love. Tactica on the tabletop, Pacific Rim, um, playing that tabletop game, fighting a bunch of kaiju, you have the ghosting of two, the melding of two, because the, the tech of the Jaegers, as advanced as it is, I mean, it's fantastic. You can't, one person cannot control that much of a machine. I mean, that, that tech is just not there yet. Maybe advance that. I know it's an alternate timeline, but advance that by a couple of hundred years. And then we start getting into to the battle tech scenarios. It's just not there. And you can see even with it being divided, that coordination has to be there with the drift, but at times it gets messed up. At times, if something happens to one Jaeger pilot, then that's it. You're done. So that's another possibility. You take a head hit. Someone goes night-night, passes out, takes that, fails that consciousness check and takes a nap. Is that going to hinder the mech? Is it better just to have it all on one? Although there were, I, I believe there were a couple of Jaegers that were piloted and designed just with one. For various reasons, but they weren't as efficient. So there's also that duality to consider where if you divided the load in two, it tactically does that make sense? And and one Jaeger, of course, did have three. You had the two and then you had kind of a, 
a third gunner to um to play from that perspective. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to you guys, but outside of some lore and outside of a couple of pieces of artwork and trainer mechs, the mech warrior with that neuro helmet jacking in has everything that they need. 